Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I did create this look. It's kind of like a, I'm gonna call it an Easter look because you could definitely rock it. Uh, but you can rock it anytime for the spring, summer. It's nice, it's colorful. It's definitely something different to my channel. Um, so if you guys want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. So I'm not 100% sure what, I know I want to do like a spring look. I'm just not 100% sure what colors I'm going to be using. Um, this is the palette that I'm going to be using. It's the B Bella Cosmetics in B35D. This is probably the brightest palette I own currently. Um, they are pigmented. I did get them in the makeup club and it was, I believe, $20. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. But I think I'm gonna start off with that yellow right there, that really bright yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, pretty much the only bright yellow I have. I will put that, I'm gonna start putting that in my lid inside the inner corner and then we'll take it from there. It's just, we're gonna experiment today a little bit. Living on the edge over here. So to you, to do that, to pack it on, I'm gonna be using this new, well not new, but I did purchase it yesterday. Uh, Elf eyeshadow brush. It's kind of flat. You don't need a flat brush. I did not prime my lid with anything. Um, I don't use like eyeshadow primer or anything like that, if you guys are wondering. And obviously I already did my foundation. My concealer, the concealer I use is the Tarte Shape Tape. My eyebrows, and I'm just baking my under eyes with um, the Besame powder. I'll link all that stuff, the good stuff, down below. So yeah, so here I'm just packing on the yellow onto my lid. Not the whole lid, just like I said, the inside of it. To like the middle of it. And I'm not bringing it too up into my crease, not too much. That's nice, that's very pigmented. I like that. So now I'm just gonna do the other eye. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I've just packed on the yellow onto my lid, half of my lid, from the inner corner out to like the, the midway point. Uh, next color I want to dabble into, should I do green or blue with this yellow? What does the husband think? Let's see. Blue. Okay. Blue. Alright, so whatever, we'll listen to him. Just this once. Uh, I'm going to take this blue right here. I actually tried this blue already. Uh, a few days ago I put it on my lower lash line it's really nice actually so what I'm gonna do with that one is I'm going to do an outer corner V with it so what I'm gonna do with that blue is I'm gonna be doing an outer outer corner V with it so pretty much the what what I mean by that is like this is a V Okay, like this is a V, right? Um, so it's gonna be like that sideways V on your eye. So when you close your eye, it's this is the bottom part of the V and then this is the top part of the V. Not, don't bring it too much up. I, I'm sorry. Don't bring it too up because uh, you don't want a lot too much into the crease because the crease color is gonna be a different color. Um, so yeah, let's start working on that. And then again, you could just use any little rounded brush you want. Um, you could even go smaller to have it more precise. So here what I'm just doing is I'm lining the bottom of it and then just bringing it up a tad. So 
See, like that. And then you just want to, like, blend it out. Blend it in. See, like that. Now let me just do the other eye. that's what you have so far now what I I'm gonna I have an idea is kind of to blend those two colors in the middle I'm gonna use this lime green color right here sorry I'm gonna use this lime green color right there just to put a little bit on the middle just so you could blend those two colors together and they don't look like retarded together so for that green I'm gonna be using a small smaller brush uh, it's kind of like rounded on the end you want something small so you can really control where you put the color so like I said look I'm just literally like just dabbing it into the middle of that and then what I'm gonna do is with a clean clean has to be clean clean blending brush um, you just want to blend the green and the blue right and then blend the yellow and the green and now you could always go over the colors that you've already placed there if some have died out, they're not as vibrant as they were in the beginning. Um, but you're going to want to do that towards the end of your look. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same green on the other eye. For that color, the crease color, I think I'm going to try something uh, light, not too crazy. Since we have already a lot of bright colors in our eyes. I wanna, I'm going to try this pink right here, maybe mixed with this one. And see what that looks like. So I just, um, I actually am just using that first pink I showed you, which was this one right there, this one, this one, this one, this one, and I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm not going to put my brush into the other one. That's a nice transition color right there. Again, it is your crease color. Um, it's up to you guys if you want to go way into the inner corner eye. I prefer not to because it's just, I don't have that much space there. So I'm going to go ahead and just do the other eye. Okay, now it's it's definitely coming together the look. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go over the yellow, the blue, and the green just to kind of really intensify it before I put my eyeliner on. And now they're really, they definitely are very intensified. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara, on, I mean, sorry, my eyeliner on. The eyeliner I'm going to use today is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, uh, but first I'm just going to brush off this um, setting powder that I have on to get that out of the way.
looks so fucking nice. I mean, <laughs> okay, so I just put my eyeliner on and it really did like finish off the look. Um, what I really want to do is put like a glitter line on top of that black eyeliner, but let's hold off on that. I'm just being extra. I'm just being, you know, just out there. Let me finish off the look. What I'm going to do is my lower lash line. I'm just going to go ahead with the same blue, green, yellow combo. Um, just so you could be matching it the same on top and on the bottom. What would even be dope is if you guys don't want to do all that, um, you could even just take the pink that we did and just bring that down as well. Um, I might even just do that, to be honest. Let's try that out and see what it looks like. Let's try it out. So I'm going to take the same pink and just bring it down into my uh, lash line. You can barely see it. Like, that's not gonna happen. Just for <laughs> Scratch that. Let's go ahead with the original idea. I'm just gonna bring down the blue, the green, and the yellow. Um, in between, if you only have, like, let's say, I only have this one brush, uh, a flat shader brush to use on my lower lash line. And in between colors, you do need to obviously clean the brush because you don't want to use a blue with a yellow and so far and you know so on and so on. Um, so I did buy this. It's like a makeup brush pad, clean sweep. They do have the expensive ones, but I found this one in um, Marshalls for like five bucks or some shit. It is just like a sponge. I, I think you do clean this. I have to clean this. Um, it's just a flat sponge. So what you do is you just put your brush in there and you're good to go on to the next color. The yellow is really hard to see on the lower lash line um, because again, it's literally just a line and I'm trying really hard not to um, make it fall into my under eye concealer. So, I think that's gonna be it for the lower lash line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lower my waterline with a, either you could do either white or nude. I'm gonna go in with the white one just to make it really bright and uh, really stand out. The lower lash. Oh yeah, that makes a difference. You see how much it really made it like... And then um, I'm just going to go in with some mascara. Uh, okay, so now that I put um, my mascara, I did apply some fake lashes. I, I used the Cara eyelashes that I got in my makeup haul from the Makeup Club Florida. Um, I'll link that video so you guys could check that out. Um, and yeah, so let's just continue with the face. I'm going to be using the Cheek Parade Palette by Benefit. I haven't used California yet, so I think I might just bite the bullet and go in for it. I'm scared because it does look very bright and orangey, um, but fuck it, let's try it. And then to contour bronze, I'm going to be using Hula. Let's get to it. Sorry guys, uh, my phone died actually in the middle, towards the end of the video and I didn't even notice it died. Um, so we just finished contouring. The last thing I believe you guys saw was the contouring. So pretty much what I did was I did contour with Hula and um, I used the Cheek Parade. So I contoured with the Hula, I put the dandelion blush on my cheeks and then I topped it off with California and then for highlight I did use 
the Nicole Guerrero um, Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, for the inner corner highlight, I used Forever Lit. And then for my brow highlight, I used for Forever Young. Um, and then for just my highlight on my cheeks, I used a mixture of Kitty Cat and Forever Lit. So, this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I loved and I had fun making it. I'm so happy with the finished results. I'll insert some selfies that I've t I, I took of myself so you guys could see m maybe more in detail. Um, uh, a closer view of my eyeshadow. Um, and yeah, till next time guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>